Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy the Lego Source, and welcome to Retail Tycoon. I have been playing this a lot last week with my sister, so my store is pretty much finished. So I really wanted to show you the finished store. Um, I'm just now trying to work out how I can make the most profit out of it. But yeah, basically it is pretty big. I like how I have these little exits on the outside, which is for staff only, but all the visitors keep using it. As you can see, this is the storage and then it goes into the real store. So um, the, the customers keep using these little exits, which are for employees only. So I need to have put up a little sign or something. <laughs> anyway, so first off, you have to sign, of course, it says the Lego Mega Mall free Wi-Fi. I mean, who doesn't want free Wi-Fi nowadays? That's, that's how you get the customers. So that's what I have. Then you have this little fountain up front, which I really like. And then from the from above, it kind of looks like this. I, I really like the shape. Um, it kind of looks like a spaceship or something. I really imagined this already, like way before I even started making it. I kind of imagined it like this. So it really turned out like I wanted. So that's really cool. Um, and let me tell you, there's basically a little waiting area here on the sides. Um, and then you have uh, separate shops because it's a mall. So you have separate shops here and then in the back you have a supermarket. So let's give it a look. So first off, which side should I go? It doesn't really matter which side you go because it's pretty symmetrical. Um, first of all, here you have a little waiting area. So let's say if you are shopping with your mom and she is taking a little longer, then you can say like, mom, I'm going to look at the video games and you can look at something else and we will meet up here. This is kind of where you meet up and or maybe before you start shopping with your friends, you tell them, hey, I will be waiting right here at the lobby or at the waiting area. So then we can start shopping together. So and then of course you get, oh wait, 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 wait. And then behind here, I, I really didn't know what to do with the car part. So I kind of just put them here. I don't really know what to do. I might make a little garage out of it, like a little a car fixing place. I don't really know. But um, yeah, here, this is where you get into the real mall. Of course, it is fully made of glass here, which looks really cool, I think. Then in the middle, you have all of these t-shirts hanging here where you can just walk in between, or at least I cannot do it. <laughs> As you can see, I cannot do it, but they can do it. Um, you have all of these clothes and there are some flyers and some chips here that you can eat, that you can buy right away. Um, and then, of course, you have all of the separate shops, which look basically the same, each one. And I really like them. You have like this little path. And then here you can just choose like what shoes do you want? Do you want Mike shoes or um, Fancer shoes <laughs> or Abysmal? <laughs> and then, of course, in the back, as I just showed, you have the little storage. And then you come out here again, which looks pretty. I, I really like that. I think that's really realistic. I think kind of like with a real mall. No, sir, this is for employees only. They keep using it, sir. No, don't smile like that. Don't. Uh, OK. Anyway, so I have one shop basically for everything that isn't in my supermarket. So this is for shoes. Uh, this one is for pets. Um, this one is for instruments. This one is for uh, phones, which is pretty cool. Then here I've got my money tree that looks so cool, I think. And of course you have the clothes in the middle and some of the hats in front of the stores. I'm trying to have at least four of everything. I have, I think, I'm pretty sure I have at least four of everything. And still sometimes there are customers walking around and they say, I didn't find anything I want. And it blows my mind because I have at least four of everything. Anyway, this is the game shop. It is really funny. Look at this. You have, you actually have Xbox. Oh no, wait, Xbox Retail Tycoon, which you can buy at my store, and Phantom Forces and Heist. Uh, so this is the game shop. Then here you have the tablet shop. Um, let's see. Then here you have the me mechanical electronics shop. You have an Xbox. If you want an Xbox, you have a a PB4, a Playbox 4, uh, <laughs> and a Samsung. Oh, that's really smart. A Samsung <laughs> TV. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, and then last but not least, I've got the jewelry store right here. And then, of course, here in the back. Oh, wait. And then here you have some flyers or, well, some books like um, Robux. How, sir, you're, sir, you're in my way. 
Robux, how education determines your future success. <laughs> Geography, um, learn to program and Roblox joke book. Oh, and Roblox for noobs. I've got Roblox for noobs that you can buy. Anyway, then here you go into, into the supermarket. Um, it's kind of up to you what you want to be the entrance. I think left is the entrance. And then here I've got some of my money trees that you cannot access. They're just for show. And then here I've got my manager right in the middle overlooking this part. And here is the supermarket, as you can see. So um, as you may have noticed, I don't have any checkouts with people because they take up a lot of space, actually. I, I kind of like to imagine that my checkouts have people, but they don't really because they take up two blocks and I just couldn't fit them everywhere. So I have these uh, mechanical automatic checkout machines everywhere. Of course, if, as you come into the supermarket, here you have the, let's read the sign, it says food, the food section. So here you have some food. Of course, there is some more storage and then you exit if you are an employee, of course. And the same thing here. So here you have the food section. Then here you have the frozen stuff. You have frozen food and the drinks. Um, then here you have some more books and, and some more potato chips and some candy as well. And then, of course, here in the back is the Lego, well, the toys, but I kind of imagine it to have Lego because, you know, this is the Lego Super Mall. So this is where you would probably get your Lego, your Lego Star Wars, your Lego Dragons, your Lego Duplo, anything. So this is basically my store. Um, tell me if you like it and if you have any advice then that would be welcome because right now the only reason I'm making profit is because I set it to order one of everything so very soon I'm going to be running out of stuff so um, let's see what else can we do I, I think it would be nice if we checked out other people's stores as well let's check out hey, a robber there's no actual proof that he is a robber he just wears a hat that's all we know my friend isaac is here as well so let's check out his store his store is called a terrible excuse for walmart <laughs> let's see okay so this is his store um let's see i like that he also has this middle part that goes into different stores but it is not finished as you can see it's clearly not finished restarting the store Whoa, whoa, he is, okay, so he's going to start over. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I really like his um, layout of the separate stores. Really uh, interesting to see how people uh, make it. Because a lot of people, when they have the biggest store, they just have like one room, one giant room filled with everything and it looks horrible. So it's really nice when people put some uh, details in there and make it look nice. Um, let's see, it looks like the other people are not really pretty far in the game. So um, I guess this will be the end of my video. Tell me if you guys like my store and I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. Stomp, stomp, stomp.